Have you heard about the recall issue by the World Health Organization? Anyone with augmentation is asked to go to a limb clinic. Jensen, it's Pritchard. Have you been watching the news? Been a bit busy, Francis. Jensen, the World Health Organization is advising all augmented patients to check in with Lim. There's a problem with biochip technology. The glitches I've been experiencing. We've all had them. So far, I can't determine why. You heading to a clinic? I'm running a few more tests. But since I can't exactly run them on you, and we don't know when you'll be back, you might not want to wait. Up to you. Hey, hey, I know you. You're the one Bell Tower is looking for. I seen your picture. You got the wrong guy. What's it worth to you for me to think so? Be a simple thing for me to yell out. Maybe a few credits keep my mouth shut, huh? How about I find some other way to keep it shut? Permanently. That... that won't be necessary. I see now that you're much... Taller than the man they're looking for. I thought you might see things that way. Now move it. Back away, sir. This is none of your business.
shouldn't be here. Get moving. Shit. This is where did he go, isn't it? So I imagine Versalife's got to have an opinion on things. Some of what? You here for recall? There is problem with the peripheral nerve interface. We fixed with upgraded chip. You want it, yes? Yeah, name's Jensen. I will tell surgery. You buy something else? Maybe if some of those people had lost an arm and work acted in like that. Get out here! I know, I know. But if they haven't lived it, is it easy for people to judge you and say, oh, you only want an augmented arm to get an advantage in life? Nisha, my sister, mama, it's a living kanka.
Okay, okay, leave me alone. I won't say a word to Bell Tower. Shit. I never saw you. I wouldn't want to. Back away, sir. This is none of business. Come out! Mr. Jensen, Hugh Darrow here. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and discretion. I find myself in need of some assistance. I'm listening. A contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha, waiting to fill you in. I'll upload her coordinates now. Mr. Jensen, right? Thank you for your time. I am Meng Yao, an associate of Mr. Darrow's. I'm in charge of one of his divisions here in Hengsha. You come highly recommended. Really? Your boss described you as a most precious asset. Apparently, you are very efficient and always get the job done. We could definitely use a man like you for this operation. Let's hope his confidence is well placed then. Oh, I'm sure it is. Mr. Darrow doesn't trust just anyone. We need you to help us stop a group of terrorists who are threatening the Panchea project. It is not an easy task. Are you sure you are up to it? Okay, I'll help out. Excellent. Here's the situation. It has come to our attention that these terrorists possess highly classified proprietary information about Panchea. We've been able to convince them to sell it to one of our agents, a man named Lo Fei. The meeting is supposed to take place near the Alice Garden Pods in the Daigong district. And you want me to crash this meeting? Actually, there will not be a meeting. We are sending you alone to ensure Mr. Fei's safety. The terrorists will not be expecting that and will have the information with them on a data chip. You have to neutralize all of the sellers and retrieve the chip so you can bring it to me. I don't get it. If Faye set up the meeting, why risk sending me in his stead? Why doesn't he or even some of your other agents drop in on the sellers and take the chip? Because Mr. Darrow wants an absolute guarantee that there will be no casualties. We will not play by their rules. We want them arrested and questioned then properly prosecuted and sentenced. This will require stealth and efficiency. That's why a man with your particular skills will be indispensable. Anything else I need to know? The sellers are expecting Mr. Fay and Mr. Fay alone. If they spot you, they will shoot on sight. Need I point out this might make your job a lot harder? Story of my life. 